very good afternoon and assalamu alaikum all of my students uh, please open your textbook this is page number 118 of chinar second uh, i mean it is general english book for class 12th from jk board of school education we are discussing grammar and vocabulary portion of our prescribed lessons uh till date we concluded or we completed uh 14 12 chapters this is chapter number 13 the gum drop fa and uh, in this just after the contents of this chapter on page number 118 grammar portion which is prescribed for us is change of voice i will read it out for you the following sentences from the lesson on in active voice change them into Passive voice. Study the examples before you do the task. जो examples दी गई हैं ये lesson में हैं ये पूरी की पूरी examples जो हैं ये active voice में हैं इनको हमें passive voice में change करना है कैसे करेंगे आप हमें बताया गया है कि आप पहले एग्जाम्पल्स को अच्छी तरह से देख लो या इनको अंडरस्टैंड कर लो पहले पढ़ना है फिर अंडरस्टैंड करना है फिर हमें पता चलेगा कि जो हमें हमारे लिए एक्सरसाइज दी गई है इसको क्या करना है कैसे करना है ठीक है लेट्स बिगिन एग्जाम्पल नंबर फर्स्ट इट्स एन एक्टिव वॉइस बना बी वॉज टू टेक द कॉम ड्रॉप्स टू कंटैक्ट मैन पेशू वॉइस द कॉम ड्रॉप्स वाय टू बी टेकन टू ए कंटैक्ट मैन Example number second: The department had never had taken Addison Bonobi seriously. Addison Bonobi had never been taken seriously by the department. Two examples up there. When we examine the examples minutely, uh, we find that in the first sentence, in example number. of one sentence number first it's an active voice bonobi was to take the gum drops to a contact man bonobi is the subject and the contact man its object and gum drops are supposed to be uh, handed over to the contact man by bonobi and all the work is done by bonobi and the reception of its effect is the contact man the receiver of the effect the receiver uh, of its effect is the contact man in other words we can say
Bonobi is the subject and the gumdrops is its object and gumdrops all the action are done on the gumdrops and when Pesu wise um, in the Pesu formation of wise what we have to do the previously object of the sentence object becomes the subject and subject takes the position of the object the gum drops becomes in the active wise the gum drops becomes the subject when taken to a contact main by home by Barnaby. And in the example number second, same same is the case there. The department is the door of the action, while Addison Barnaby is the uh, is the object on which the action is done uh, when activize in activize formation the Bonobi uh, becomes the subject and it uh, becomes the subject or takes the position of the subject whereas the department which was in the subject place in previous a sentence it takes the place of the object same will happen in sentence number um, uh, one to five before we will solve these sentences or we will change their voice let's discuss something more Voice is in two forms that's active voice and passive voice. Now, what the voice is? Voice is a form of sentence that tells whether the action is done by the subject or the effect of action is received by the agent. Hami voice may ye dek na hai ki kya jo action hai. ये सब्जेक्ट के जरिए अंजाम दी गई है या एक्शन का इफेक्ट जो है इसका असर जो है ये एजेंट के ने इसका इसको रिसीव किया है इस पर इसका असर हुआ है तब एक्टिव वाइज के बारे में हम क्या कहेंगे व्हेन अ सब्जेक्ट एक्ट्स द सेंटेंस इज सेड टू बी इन एक्टिव वाइज in it's a, it's its simple definition when subject acts the sentence is said to be in active voice for example he eats food she is making sweets etc in passive voice when the effect of action is received by the object or agent the sentence is said to be in passive voice. Jab action ka asar object for hota hai ya agent for hota hai to hum kehte hain ki sentence jo hai ya passive voice mein. For example, a letter is written by me. Letter is not doing anything. And uh, her hand homework is being done by her home uh, homework her homework is not doing any anything but it is the object or the agent which is doing everything now before discuss uh, 
it is in detail let's solve uh, these five sentences we have to change them into according to their voice if it is in active voice we have to change them in passive if it is in passive we have to change change it in active every once in a while every once in a while the department tests its strict agents for loyalty courage and ability and number 2 is the department insisted that he always carried a gun the department insisted that he always carried a gun let's first solve the uh, let's solve the first sentence ever since in a while the department now you have to identify the subject here the subject the doer or the action is the department and it is secret agents or the object and doer of the action is the department it is in active voice when we change it in passive uh, it is simple that the secret uh, secret agents will take the place of the department which was the main subject in the active sentence active voice sentence or the previous sentence let's do what happens the secret agents are tested for loyalty and courage and ability ever since in a while by the department i will repeat it for you the secret agents or tested secret agents in previously it was in the object place now uh, we have brought it into the object uh, subjects place the secret secret agents are tested for loyalty courage ability ever since in a while by the department number second the department insists that he always carried a gun the department uh, uh, that he carries carried a gun was insisted by department that he always carried a gun was insisted by the department number second third he had not forgotten the sugar coated explosives sugar coated explosives the sugar coated explosives had not been forgotten by him had not been forgotten by him when it is present perfect had not forgotten we are adding been to had not and the verb changes into third form third form uh, forgot becomes forgotten by him and uh, number 4 the african hunter quickly shut the door and locked it the door <clears throat> the door was shut and locked quickly by the african hunter number 5th hai the handcuffed man took a long time fumbling through the things in his billfold a long time was taken by the handcuffed man to fumble through the 
things in his billfold. I will repeat it. A long time was taken by the handcuffed man to fumble through the things in his billfold. And we completed our prescribed exercise. We changed all the files sentences into passive voice which were given in the active voice this is enough for today uh, let's we will prepare ourselves to discuss uh, active and passive voice or the change of voice in detail in our next lecture thank you very much